Hi there, my name is Tabin. Uh, I'm a pup, bark, bark. Um, and welcome to Math with Tabin. Um, today I just want to go through a few various math ideas and stuff, just, just for the fun of it. Um, and maybe it'll help you out, maybe not, but we'll just have fun. So, um, let's start with um, the idea of arithmetic. And this is where you can count on posies and add things and find out how many posies you have. So for example, I have a posy here. And if I want to know how many total posies I have, I have another posy here. And then I have some on my feetsies too, but we'll just stick with these posies. And one plus one is two. So I have two posies. Mwahaha ha and all that Sesame Street stuff. Um, or, and then you can, like, if you had two fluffs, and then you had three fluffs, you would add them together, and in all you would get five fluffs. Okay. So that's a fun little idea. Um, let's move on to another idea. <laughs> where we can talk about... Fratelli diagrams and dimension groups. <laughs> Fratelli diagrams and dimension groups. So as you probably already know, a Fratelli diagram is an infinitely um, unit uh, directed tree, and it's infinitely long and stuff like that. And then you keep going down, 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 and everything, and then at each level, you can talk about the incidence matrices. These are, of course, the matrices that give you the number of in and out. Um, and then uh, you might know, if you remember from Bertelli diagram theory, if there's the operation of telescoping, in which case the matrices multiply to give you the, inter the incidence matrices of the resulting telescope Bertelli diagram. So that's pretty cool. And what's even, even more cool, and this is the really cool part, is that to any Bertelli diagram, you can take all the vertices and form a directed system from them. So you would get, like in this case, you would have Z2, and then you would have Z3, Z3, and then you would have um, Z3 here again, and so forth. And then you can put the, the incidence matrices, or the homomorphisms, in between each a group in your directed system, and you can look at the, the um, inductive limit of this system. The inductive limit, sometimes called the direct limit, which you might know, of this system. Here, I'll just use this as your map. And if you look at this, this is what's called the dimension group of the Bertelli diagram. Now, what's really cool is that the um, two Bertelli diagrams are homeomorphic, or actually even more, uh, topologically conjugate, once you consider the Wershik map on the Bertelli diagrams, is topologically conjugate um, if and only if the two um, dimension groups are isomorphic as ordered groups. Now that's pretty cool. And then what's even more? <laughs> to every Bertelli diagram, you can associate a substitution system, and then the substitution systems turn out to be isomorphic. Um, if you consider their dimension groups, and this is actually the dimension groups turn out to be the, the k naught groups, so you can talk about k theories, and, and then there's, of course, on the other hand, there's the C star algebras and all that stuff, and then you get um, the theory about the approximately finite C star algebras and uh, via the uh, inductive limits, which are then just a generalization of describing multi matrix algebras, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helped you out. And we'll see you next time on Math with Payment. Bark, bark. Just go through a few um, little math. Oh, ma I'm going to start over. Uh, welcome to Math with Math with. Uh, I'm going to start over. <laughs>